<laughs> this is a gigantic red bass. That is sick. <laughs> sick. Beautiful blue jobby on the top water. You're on. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Coming to you guys from about 60, 65 kilometers out in the ocean uh, from my house. All you new guys, we've had so many new guys subscribe in the last week or so. Welcome along to the channel. Hope you enjoy what we've made in the past and all the stuff we're making in the future. For you regulars, you guys will already know who I'm fishing with, the distinguished English gentleman, Andy, over here. We got going this morning about, I think it was about six, half past six by the time we got going. It took us a little bit longer because we packed so much gear. I've been waiting for this trip. I've said a little bit on a few videos previous, but we've been excited about this for a, a couple of weeks now because we're out here for three days. We're spending 72 hours out fishing and exploring and learning. And so on the way out here this morning, we did go over a few of the spots where we've been getting some yellowfin and there was some good bird activity, uh, but fish just didn't want to play the game. Um, so we probably wasted a couple of hours there really. Uh, and then we started to explore some, some reef that we haven't fished before. Um, and so it was good, you know, we, we learned a bit, we um, got a few fish here and there, um, but the highlight of the day was just only an hour or so ago. Uh, when we started to move in to the reef flats area where we're camping right now. We've got a bit of a gnarly storm sitting over here, so hopefully we don't get that. Um, but it was bloody awesome. Andy got his fly rod out. Uh, the bait was everywhere. Trevally smashing him. Rass, I had two rass, which is on my bucket list of fish to catch. Uh, chasing my popper. Um, it was crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a few of the highlights from today with you guys right now. Um, and then I'm gonna see you guys back here when we're all set up, uh, ready to cook some dinner and maybe even sip on a couple of frosty beers, hey? Awesome, see you soon. Nice. Oh, Andy! He's on again. <laughs> Is it a shark? Well, it's not a shark. No, I, think it, I think it might be a kawakawa. Yeah, heading straight down there. Yep. Big kawakawa. Fuck, that is a monster. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to lip that. Net it? No. I'll lip it. Oh, my gosh, you duck. Well done. Dude. Okay. Holy shit! Look at the gob on the thing! <sighs> <laughs> wow, dude. How's that? That is <laughs> sick. Sick, sick. I don't think so. That was pretty keen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how far down we are. Yep. Oh. Feels like a red bass. Nope. What a 
have we got? Jobby. Jobby. Is that Jobby? Yeah, blue, like blue Jobby. There we go. All right. Now the crispy strips are starting to sound even better. Jobfish crispy strips. Oh man. Beautiful blue jobby on the top water. This one's going in the esky. It's gonna taste amazing. Andy saw our video with the uh, KFC style crispy strips and he's been hanging for it. So we're gonna do some jobfish, KFC style crispy strips with this sucker. That's a good thing, dude. I reckon that GT scared the shit out of the other fish. Did you see the other queen is jumping? Launching, yeah. Oh, it's off. oh no! Yeah. That was a good fish. Damn! Yep. Come on. I think there's a PB. That is a good one. Holy shit. That is a solid bass. It is, mate. <laughs> Holy shit. We keep saying that and then they keep getting bigger. They do. Bloody hell. This is a gigantic red bass. Look at the thickness in that thing. Solid. Bloody awesome. I reckon that's probably the biggest bass I've ever caught. Heaps of fun to catch. But let's get him back. Well done, Michael. Thanks, man. Oh! Bass. Still there. Yeah. yeah. I saw it. Come on. Still there. Yeah, still right behind it. Who rats? Blues. My God. Blues and twos. Two Maori rats. That would have, after a little conversation we've just had. <laughs> Can you believe that? No. I honestly cannot believe that. Oh, my heart's in my throat. That was wicked. You know what, the camera wasn't rolling. Oh, mate, mate. <laughs> yep, drive over. Holy shit. Holy. They're getting whacked. That's a schoolage remote. Yeah. Oh, there's some big ones in there. All right, that's it. I'm pretty sure they're GTs. Oh, come on. He's on it. Dude. Now's when you need your fly. There's bluefin, there's wrasse, and there's GTs. He's on mine. Come on. If I can get up in front of you, I'll be able to chuck Yeah, I'll come down the back. Oh, look at him. That's a blue pin, isn't it? Dude, that... 
It's a bluefin. Yeah, it's yeah. A yeah, 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 that's a bluefin. Right here. I've got, literally, I'll keep my lure here. He's right here. Just, just lay a fly out. <laughs> Just went, buddy. Aerial. Sent it. Oh. Oh well. That was aerial. He absolutely <laughs> went into orbit. So so much fun today getting those fish. Red bass always fun to catch. That one I got was freaking huge. Like I don't even know how big red bass get, but that's probably the biggest that I've ever caught. But actually, we've never fished where we actually fish today, but we've been close to that area, and they've all all the red bass seem to be big. That uh, cod that Andy got, that thing was epic. That was like huge big bucket mouth on it and just ninja the way he caught it. Just, you know, had a couple of shots at it and then just put it in the right spot, paused again and then poof, got it. Bloody good, but check this out. That steak has been marinating for like 24 hours in Worcestershire, a little bit of soy sauce, some sesame seeds, some honey. So we're doing like honey wraps while I was just cutting up some salad, getting the wraps and all that sorted. Andy gutted and gilled those fish that we kept like the jobby and the, uh, the Spanish Mac. Um, so that's all ready to go. How's your day been? Magic, magic. Again, it's ending well. It's ending well. <laughs> so what do you think tomorrow holds like without jinxing yourself? Well, without jinxing myself, how this area here ended up this afternoon and early this evening with that bait on this corner, I think at first light we should have a look at that. Yeah. Because those fish, are, I think that bait fish will still be there. Throw a few flies. I think it would be a good shot to just have a look here first. Yeah. We do have a big dump of rain out here, which is probably heading our way, which is why we're cooking now. Then we'll get the swag set up. And then if we've got a duck for cover, we duck for cover. Otherwise, you sit out and enjoy the night. How's that? <laughs> Oh, howdy, David! <laughs> this is good. 
Well, that pile is just sitting over there. We did get a couple drops just as I was getting in. But uh, seriously, I think we're all clear. Oh, that breeze is magnificent. Sweating like a hooker in church in there. Saw him come out. Super toothy. Look at those colours. 